everyone welcome back and today we are getting into these beautiful Lisa Bonet locks I am doing a touch-up and I hope you guys enjoy let's let's get into it so you can see here uh, my hair is already washed and blow-dried I like to blow dry my hair on cool uh, heat. So this was already washed from the night before and taken down. As you can see, the back of my hair is already done. This is just a touch up. I figured I'll come here and show you guys my secret to the Lisa Bonet locks. So I'm going to go in with my bomb edge control. This is like my go-to edge control. This is the only thing that tames my edges. Here we have some free stress braiding crochet hair. This is what I'm going to be using to braid the hair. I have some Cure Milky Way hair. This is human hair. This is what I'm going to be using to for some leave out and some wrapping and then last but not least this is my human hair wet and wavy i'm going to be using this for the ends of the hair and this is my marley hair it's also human hair as well i'm going to be using this for that so in total i use about four packages of hair different type of hair um i want to say it cost me a little over a hundred dollars probably about 120 dollars I will leave a description below, I promise. Um, it does get a little tedious because we're using different hair. Um, I would say just lay the hair out as you go. I didn't do that <laughs> for this touch up. So I had to open the package for each, but um, yeah, just lay the hair out so you can just grab it. Um, here, I'm actually just braiding the hair. So when I braid the hair, I actually poke my finger through the top part of my hair just because I'm gonna be hooking that Marley hair through. I'll show you obviously later in the video, but you'll see what I'm talking about as we go along. So as you can see, I'm adding the hair towards the middle of braiding down just because I don't want that bulky look at the top of my scalp. I want it to look natural as possible. So I'm just gonna braid that in. Um, if you don't know how to do this part, let me know and I can show you a video of how to add in hair. But to do this style, you have to know how to add in the hair. Literally just three part, three braids or strands of hair, not braids, three strands of hair and you're literally just braiding the crochet hair in. Um, then I'm gonna add in some Milky Way this is already, yeah, you see that it's already in a track. So you literally just have to pull it out or you can cut it. And you'll see I'm pulling the hair out. Hair is the fun part and we're literally just feeding the braids. So we're just adding hair. This hair will be left out. So we'll just braid it down braiding it down and this does not have to be neat remember we're wrapping this braid so who cares how it looks just make sure it's in there and it's not going to fall out Thank you. 
All right, so I'm actually gonna stop and I'm gonna get my clips. Make sure you have your clips handy. Listen, I had to stop, find my clips. Like, I don't know why I didn't have it out from the beginning, but just have some clips handy. And you're gonna literally take a piece of that strand, clip it and clip it to the braid and then keep braiding down. So if you notice, I have two types of hair that I'm using. I'm using the human hair Milky Way, and then I'm also using, the other hair is a human blend. Um, so I want a little bit of both. So I'm just gonna add in that human hair. And this is the same hair that I'm gonna be using towards the bottom of the braid. If you notice, the curl is completely different. This curl has more of a looser wave versus the other curl, it's uh, just more of a tighter curl. So I want those two types of curls. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing that I did before, beat it in the hair and just braid it down. So because the hair is so long, I actually have to cut pieces of the hair out. Um, that's why I have a scissors, but I'm just gonna clip this piece because that's the human piece, the human hair piece that I want. You gotta be careful because sometimes it mixes in and then you kind of lose <laughs> what hair you want in. But yeah, I'm just gonna clip those pieces off and then I'm gonna go in and add in some human hair at the bottom.
Listen, clear your schedule for this hairstyle. It's beautiful, but very time consuming. This is not a uh, couple hours thing. I prob It probably took me about two hours just to do the front of this. But even just with the braids, like I think I'm gonna rock this look with just the braids because I love it, it's a softer look. Um, but yeah, I'm almost finished with this side. Same exact process. We're just gonna feed that hair in and continue on. Yeah, I started feeling myself a little bit because I really love how this looks <laughs> with the braids. Like, look at this. I'm going to do this next. This is a whole summer look. Yes. I 
love it. So step two requires a crochet hook. You can get that at any beauty supply store. It costs about a dollar twenty cents. And you're gonna actually just hook that Marley hair through, pull it through. So there should only be a small piece of Marley hair out because we're going to wrap it. So you're gonna attach it to the braid like so and just wrap and if you notice it's less tension to the scalp because we're using the crochet method which I absolutely love and I used to do my hair with the locks I would wrap it from the top I wasn't into the crochet crocheting but this this method is like the best just because there's literally no tension on my scalp and it looks like it's growing right from my scalp which I love This gets a little tedious. As you can see, I am rubbing the hair between my hands, trying to cause a little bit of friction to get the hair a little bit uh, frizzy because we're gonna be wrapping the braid with this hair. So as you can see, I have the Marley hair and I have the human hair blend and I'm just gonna be wrapping that down. So when we're wrapping, we have to be mindful that we do have pieces of hair that's left out, which gets a little bit more tedious. This hairstyle is very tedious, but we're just gonna wrap, and until we get to the loose hair, we're just gonna continue to wrap because we wanna cover that braid. Keep your clips handy. Yes, I did good with this one. I had a clip right behind me, <laughs> which usually never happens. They're usually all over the floor. I'm bending down, I'm picking them up, but yes, keep your clip handy because we need to clip those pieces up.
here's the fun part that <laughs> that thing that I have in my mouth is called uh, kiss glue and you have to be very careful when using this glue because it gets all over your fingers and it actually burns if you're not careful so just be very mindful when you're wrapping the hair with this I suggest doing this um, I used to use a lighter however this works even better it actually just seals the hair you just have to be mindful because it gets very hot look how amazing that looks though I love the way that looks the glue is the way to go I'm telling you it's it seals the hair really well it's just sometimes it gets all over your hands but look at that perfect
Oh yes, my back hurts. I'm feeling crazy right now. Ah, almost there. Once again, thank you for tuning in and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye! See you in the next video!